Start out I'm Dennis McDaniel. I'm a ceramic, stone, wood, and bronze sculptor, and uh, and your birthday boy. Yeah, birthday boy on August fifteenth. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. So we had a good day, actually. Very pleasant visiting with people, and somebody actually bought some things, and so uh, we feel like we're on a roll. Maybe we'll get some repeat uh, some people coming back. They have to see everything first, you know. And, uh, and then decide. There's a lot of choices out there, you know. Everybody's got so much money and they have to figure out where they've got sp a space for whatever they buy. And uh, no matter how much you like something, you may not have a space for it. So we're like that. Is this your third year? Third year. Mm -hmm. So how is this year compared <coughs> well, to last, last year? Well, last time we... Well, of course, it's only first day. So maybe tomorrow will be better. If tomorrow is better, then it's probably break even as far as last year we sold over a thousand dollars for last time because last uh, last year my wife was going through chemo so we didn't uh, participate. But I've made a lot of new things and I'm trying different things. And some is uh, everybody loves it, but uh, again you have to have a place for it. What my latest uh, Lane Spirit Ball. And, uh, this is made from this is ceramic, ceramic, and it has uh, tinkles and twinkles inside, or squiggles and uh, tinkles. So when you roll it, you get twinkles and twinkles. Does and it float? It doesn't float. No. It, it may for a while, but there are holes in here, pinholes, to keep it from exploding when you fire it. Because of the a difference in pressure to a pinhole. So there's this one. Where my wife did these figures. And uh, most everything else here we've had before, uh, and uh, so that's nothing new here. But uh, I have some other things. Uh, these little tiles I'm going to be putting together with uh, a frame. They could be nice. And whenever anyone comes in, we announce their presence. Does it have a name? Does it have a title? The uh, leaf phase. Celadon. Celadon? Yeah. And Drew made the uh, mask, green woman mask, when uh, she was going through chemotherapy. She did that. That's her face? No. No, that's it's not her green face. Woman. The green woman face. The green woman. Okay. Yeah. Some bowls. But the latest thing are these uh, vases that I've done with... Uh, <coughs> It looked like tree uh, bark, and uh, this is my secret how I get this texture. But some of these have got it's some. It's a mat. Mat. Yeah. But some of these are interesting. The textures. I'm That's working right. with texture a That's lot. Right. Organic forms. I love. Organic so this forms. is this is called tree. Oh, uh, no. trees. Well, they're yeah tree vases. Yeah. Everything I do is taken from something organic. And, uh, <clears throat> people seem to like these. I, I think they're cool. They different textures, different. That's the Green Man. So this is my version of the Green Man, and uh, sconces. But you see, I'm, I'm using the tree bark a lot. So this is not this year. I didn't do this. But out here we have an interesting combination of, uh, of different woods. This is a hundred year old apple wood from Massachusetts, and this is lacewood burl from California, and, and oak from uh, New York State. And something I've tried here lately is uh, the sea worm. So these are what the squiggles are inside the rain balls. That's what they look like. And you add the tinkles, little clay balls, and you turn them and you get the plinkles and the clinkles. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a series of torsos. This is something you've this is been recent. doing for a while. I've been doing for a while, but these are new. Oh, okay. 
this one out. So that's it for this season. Okay, and so this is a studio? This is my studio, yeah. And where are you located? Woodland Hills. Woodland Hills. Yeah. All right. I love it here. It's really great. So, there are a lot of things that uh, I haven't glazed yet because I'm still discovering glazes that I like. So that's the process I'm going through now is rediscovering glazes for cone 5 and 6. Whereas previously I was doing cone 10 reduction gas firing and you get different effects. So I'm, I'm really relearning how to glaze or what glazes work for me. And you still like the texture? I still like the texture. So the basic formation is, just, is not changed. I can pretty much do anything I want with uh, clay. The, the, uh, the difficult part is, is finding the right glazes to make, to make things work. And we're working on that. So that's the process. It's all a matter of experimenting and discovery and surprises. Because some of the best things that come out of the kiln are surprises which you'll find.